matchup. Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. You two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Left hand punch from the clinch. Well, we know needs to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. They continue to exchange. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Wow! Side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be oh. Oh. careful here. Oh, oh man, look at that shot. That shows the power. And the power is the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly... Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Work here, stay in business. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, round two. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Mixes it up nicely. Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to achieve it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that.
absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.